Oh, thank you. Um, I mean, my question really relates to that um, shared services at the institutional level, or the micro level, as, as you were saying. Um, it, in my view, there's been a lot of talk about uh, shared services in universities at the institutional level for many years, uh, but relatively little progress compared with some of the other sectors one might look at. Um, what does the panel think is the difference now, <coughs> and how is this likely to lead to greater change? Who wants to start on that one? Is there a difference now? I mean, yeah, let, let me... I was going to pick up the place, let, let me really. Just, let me just give you an overview, which, which again, was a big wake-up call to me. I came into this because at Disney, I learned about Michael Eisner driving Synergy, and it delivered immense value. The difference was... Synergy being in Disney, what you mean between well, well, live, took, film... Well, well basic, basic, basically, it told the consumer products VP in Europe that he couldn't sell his soft toys this year. He had to wait till next year till we'd had the exposure on television to, to ramp the value up. Now, it's not, it's not quite shared service, but what it's about is it's about a CEO and a chief operating officer say, this is the way it's going to be, and if you don't like it, go and find opportunities elsewhere. What you have in the, in, in the and this is about take-up of shared services, what you have in the sector is not UK PLC HE Limited. It's, it's a lot of autonomous institutions, quite rightly so, because that's the value of them, that they have this autonomy and this ability to be themselves. But at the same time, a lot of them doing similar things where... If you were, I suppose, the Chancellor, but they hate, they don't want to interfere, but if you said you could, they could actually do this a lot more efficiently, because actually financial systems, some people might argue with this, but a lot of financial systems don't really make a lot of difference which one you use. And if you pull them together, uh, there are certain underpinning things that they're, they're not differentiators. And you could save a lot of money doing that, but no one, no one not even a funding council, is prepared to put serious riders on saying you must, you must use this and this, because it actually doesn't make a difference. And that, to me, is the big difference yeah. I saw about, about some of the reasons it's not taken up. And so, Steve, should you be incentivising it more in some sort of way, uh, or driving it more? It, it, we would have to change radically the way that we operate in the Funding Council uh, and our relationship with institutions to do that. And the way that we are doing it is events like this, is more education, it's, it's evolution rather than revolution, and actually getting mm. the senior management in institutions, including governors, to be more aware of this and exposing what the opportunities are so that the institutions can be successful. Uh, I mean, it's a bit of a cliche about releasing resources to the front line, but it's true. It's about getting the student experience better by having the resources to do it. But it's institutions that have to make those decisions, and to make those decisions, we need the right people in post and in governorships uh, who understand and can make those commercial decisions, and they are commercial decisions. What drives them, Andrew, then? Well, what would drive them? Um, ones faster and faster. If, if universities can have the luxury of evolution, then I would certainly applaud that. But there are organisations in the UK public sector who have had revolution thrust upon them. And Defence Business Services, which is the shared service uh, provider for the uh, military in the UK, Army, Navy, Air Force, uh, UK Defence Vetting and one or two other organisations, they were forced with a radical reduction in defence spending coming out of, I think it was the Le Levine Review? Uh, and so of something like 25 billion to 15 billion, the figures might not be quite right, but the proportions are. Uh, so they had to have a radical and revolutionary restructuring and cost saving. Now, if we can keep universities out of that, force change, and have more of a voluntarism approach and more of a gradual evolution, then that would be highly desirable uh, because of the pain for universities will, will be somewhat mitigated. Are you ramping up the pace, Chris, or are you just carrying on? Um, I think we probably are ramping up the pace, mm -hmm. but I think that whether it's um, evolution or revolution is the timeline that you, you compare it to. Because if you look back 20 years, I think it, we have been on a very gradual evolutionary path to where mm -hmm. we are now. If you look back just three years, I'd probably say that it was revolutionary. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's, I think it's the timeline that you consider, but I do think that there is a moment here. It may be that it's a ramping up of communications from, um, from government and elsewhere. It's, it's raising awareness through, uh, through a fora like this. Um, but if it was a revolution, then I think it's thinking the unthinkable because of the, the need to think the unthinkable. Uh, a lot of the complacency that was maybe in the sector four years ago with the changes in, uh, in, in, in fee regimes, the uncertainty of demand and uh, the, the money following the student, all of those issues have started making um, university management teams think differently. 
and they are looking and exploring opportunities. Now that might be, and largely it is, around new income opportunities. It's more collaborations, it's more, uh, it's, it's different types but of But you're saying that cost is becoming the driving factor, whereas people have said before that outcome, and improving outcomes becoming no, the, I was think, the driving I think factor. That, I think that hitherto there was probably a view that I want to control my own destiny and therefore I need to do this myself. Um, but now there's a view, I need to drive my income and I need to collaborate more elsewhere. I need uh, larger pots for investment in capital infrastructure and so on. And therefore, I need to reduce my costs elsewhere in order to do that. Okay.